In this video, we will learn what is a module in Drupal and what are the default modules available and how we can raise the module settings. Modules are basically a collection of files which are written in PHP and you can use it to extend the functionality of your website. Here you can see on the website, the extend section is visible, extend menu, click on it. Here you can the section extend is visible. Here you can see the list, update and uninstall tabs are visible. Under list, the default modules are visible which is installed by Drupal Core initially. Here you can see the section install module is visible. From where you can easily install a module. Here is the filter by which you can check the default modules which are available. Here you can see the difference between the enabled as well as a disabled module. Here you can see you can't check or uncheck it, it means it has been enabled and installed. You can check it and you can install it from here. This is uh, the aggregator plugin as you can see the difference between aggregator and automated cron. Automated cron is installed and has been enabled by default but aggregator is installed by Drupal core but not enabled. So for enabling it you have to select the option and then click on install. Here you can see the some core modules provided by Drupal. For uh, Here you can see the aggregator is for aggregating feeds like if you want to import a feed on your website you can do it. Here you can see some other option like block has been by default installed like you can click a, create a block on your website like if you want a voting block you can easily create it with that. These are the book if you want to create a book in the sense you want to create some content through which user can easily print it. Others you can check some other options are also available. Let's say you want to create a forum you just have to select it and click on install. This will enable the forum module. Going further you can see a quick edit option is visible. It can be placed under content editing section when you add a content so that you can easily quickly edit your content. Other options you can check the taxonomies which we have discussed before. We can easily add a taxonomy. We added some taxonomies there. In the same way you can check that core ex experimental section is also available through which which have been added by Drupal core. These are the field types which are available and these are the multilingual modules available through which you can easily translate your website. If you want it in any other language for example other than English like Russian, Chinese or any other language you can easily add it. And these are the last one which are the other sections available, other modules and these are the web services modules available. So if you want to install any module just click on it and click on install. So in this video we learned about what is a module, what are the default modules available. Also in the next video we will learn how we can install a new module. Thank you for watching.